Hey everybody, another service call. This guy's kind of crispy. Got a replacement board for this uh, Stanley Phi ELR150. The board inside of there is the CM150. And I think I'm gonna do some troubleshooting before I plug it in, make sure there's no shorts on the transfer hinge or anything like that. Kind of wondering uh, what caused that thing to get all crispy like that. Um, there's two doors on this unit and the other one's fine. Um, but we gotta check and see what's going on with this one. Hopefully it's easy. Part of this service call is replacing the guts of the crash bar on the secondary side. So as I said in previous videos, what I like to do is kind of as I'm taking something apart, I lay it out on the floor in the way that I take it apart. That way, when it's time to put everything back together, it's easy to see what the next step is. This one has not been fun. So don't forget with these crash bars, you got the two whites and the two blacks. Um, you gotta use all four wires and there's some gauge requirements for the wires. Can you make it work with just two wires? Yeah, yeah, you can. Does the manufacturer recommend that? Nope, they do not. Um, I ended up having to re-pull some wires because there was a short. And in some of this aluminum framing, it is such a pain uh, to re-pull wire because um, usually when those glazer guys seal everything up, you can't take it apart. I was lucky in this instance, I could take it apart, but it um, was not fun. When you're, you're using beans, you know, make sure you twist your wires together. Do not rely on the bean to keep the wires together. You know, some guys are anti-bean, but I like using these because you can put your meter on there, test it pretty easy when you're trying to troubleshoot stuff. That's why I like beans. This is the cut sheet, sheet for the CM150. Um, you can see right there, terminals one and two for the white three and four for the black. Um, definitely want to have those. Okay, this one's done. This was not fun. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Had to take this guy apart a couple times. Uh, had to make some adjustments on how much this latch retract, retracted. So yeah, taking it all the way apart in order to adjust that is a pain in the butt because of those two screws on the back side there. Um, just tested it a couple times. Everything's responded normally. Uh, there was a new CM150 card. They got rid of those big LEDs and uh, called tech support just to make sure there wasn't anything funky on that. And they said, no, it's the same as the old one. So it was pretty nice. Um, they're updating some of that stuff because uh, it's time. So any questions, comments, please hit me up below. Thanks for watching.